everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got a little bit different type of video than we normally do today. First of all, don't worry, we're still going to be doing all kinds of model kit builds and model kit reviews. But uh, I've been working on the Tamiya McLaren Senna for the last couple of days, and it's kind of kicking my butt a little bit right now. So I thought I would just take a few moments, walk away from it, calm down, and show you guys something else. Now, about a week and a half ago, I had mentioned that we are now an official retailer for Sideshow Collectibles. And immediately, I got a bunch of emails and responses. What are they? Because you see the box art and stuff right here, but a lot of people thought they were like statues. These are actually 1-6 scale, basically, action figures, but are completely posable, just, just beautiful, down to every bit of detail that you can imagine. And Sideshow also makes all kinds of other things, like our 1-1 one -one scale Grogu here. This is from the uh, Disney Plus series, The Mandalorian. Just an absolute incredible looking figure that they've come out with. And right down to the uh, the individual hairs they put on the head, the real cloth on all this stuff. Some beautiful, beautiful collectibles. Now I've added a brand new display case to my store. And so what I thought I would do is take one of the newest action figures to come out. This is the 1-6 scale Death Trooper from the Mandalorian series that's on Disney Plus and just take them apart just spend a few minutes showing you what you can do with these figures right here and how cool they are now like I said these are available in our store right now and if you want to come in and take a look at them in the display case if you live in the Phoenix area definitely by all means do that we've got them all on display there so with this I'll be able to take a few breaths and uh, walk away from that center for a little bit and then hopefully come back refreshed and then figure that out there so it's going to be a kind of a short video we're just going to show you the inside of this one here and see what you think of it so let's get started This is the Hot Toys 1-6 scale collectible figure of the Death Trooper from Star Wars The Mandalorian series on Disney+. Plus. The uh, Death Trooper first appeared in Star Wars Rogue One and was brought back for The Mandalorian series because, let's face it, he's just a really cool looking character. Also, if you're interested in picking up one of these figures, we now carry them in our retail store, Andy's Hobby Headquarters in Glendale, Arizona. All of this information is listed in the description section down below. And if you enjoy this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Let's first take a look at the box. It appears that all the figures from the Mandalorian series will have the black box with the bright colored cigar band around the front and sides. It has a great image on the front as well as a really cool image on the side as well. So let's go ahead and open this box up and take a look at the figure inside. And here is the Death Trooper out of his box with all of his accessories. And although there is not a ton of accessories with this particular figure, it is a still really cool figure all the way around. As you can see here, there are five left hands. Uh, in different different poses which we'll look at in a second and four right hands as well as a blaster pistol and a blaster rifle and then in the little case up in the front there you see three little batteries and that is because the eyes and the front part of the mouthpiece light up on this particular figure and I'll show you how that goes let's take a closer look at the actual figure zoom in on the head sculpt here First thing you're going to notice right away is sometimes on the box art you'll see a, a the way something looks and then when you open it up it has a different look and feel to it and that is true with all of the uh, the recessed panel lines in here and they have kind of like a tan paint inside to really make all of the parts pop because a lot of times when you have these shiny black figures like this if you just make it all shiny black and leave the panel sink everything kind of blends together and it's really hard to differentiate the panels. In fact, like if you guys may know in the original Star Wars movie, Darth Vader, the actual real movie now, Darth Vader had to use some different facets of his, uh, his helmet to, in different grays and stuff to make it look like it just didn't get washed out all black on there. And they've done the same thing here. So when you're looking at the figure, you can really see. And of course, it is, like I said earlier, it's super shiny, so there's going to be a lot of fingerprints all over this uh, piece. When we look at the, the joints in here, there is a double elbow joint, so you can get quite a bit of motion in the, uh, the figure. 
all the hands rotate in here. Anytime we have some of the Stormtrooper figures, and I've had a lot of these over the years, they are a little bit more difficult to bend sometimes because of all the armor, but this one is actually not too, too bad. And it has a partial rubber suit underneath, as well as if you look inside here, you can see the cloth inside as well. So it's a part rubber suit, part cloth. Obviously, we've got the rubber suit inside for his arms here. And then when it comes time to remove the hands, it's just a matter of grabbing it hard right there and popping those off and then you can interchange the hands into a fist or whatever else you're trying to uh, accomplish with that. Put him down right there just for a minute. We also have our display stand. It's a pretty simple display stand, just a basic base that says Star Wars Death Trooper on it. And this one right here is no other way to say it, but it just goes right up in the crotch. Holds the figure really tight, and that way you can put him in some really cool poses this way without having to worry about him falling over on your display stand later on. And let's zoom in here and show you a close-up of the blaster rifle. I think Hot Toys did a very, very nice job on the blaster rifle. Right down to the front here, you see the different metal colors, the, uh, the heat effect that has gone on the barrel there. And if you're looking closely at it, if you're a Star Wars fan, you might notice... Uh, this blaster rifle is very, very much based on the E-11 that the Stormtroopers carry, which in real life is a Sterling submachine gun. And you can see lots of the components based on that. It's kind of interesting with this gun, though. So you've got the E-11 base here, which this is a foldable uh, buttstock. But also on the back here, there is another foldable buttstock in here, or slidable buttstock. And you can see they've done some, some weathering on here, put some scratches. Very, very nice looking blaster. The uh, the strap on it is just a like a nylon strap. And we'll also take a look at the blaster pistol. It's got a little bit of scratches on it. Also, I'll point out too, on the figure here as well, in his side here, there is a micro magnet. Just like that and that will hold the blaster pistol on his side there. And here is our 360 view as promised of the Hot Toys Death Trooper. And as we go around there, you can see all the, the different details that they've put on there. As we scroll around to the back, you see the back plate that is coming around right now with the detailing on it. He's got his thermal detonator right on the back here. And just an all-around cool-looking figure. Now, the Death Trooper is a little bit taller than the uh, the standard Stormtroopers that have come out. They've always been kind of tall and slender-looking comparatively. And I have a uh, Episode 4 Stormtrooper from Hot Toys also that I'll bring out in a second here to let you see the side-by-side -side comparison on it. But very, very nice. And this is the kind of thing that you like to have more than one of to do a little display diorama set up with it. Having a couple of the, uh, the Death Troopers is a really really cool looking uh, setup and here we are with our side-by-side -side comparison with the episode 4 stormtrooper from Hot Toys right next to the uh, the jet black shiny death trooper and as you can see the death trooper is probably about three quarters of an inch to an inch taller than the standard stormtrooper and it's got a pretty menacing silhouette, even even standing next to the Stormtrooper, which when you have a bunch of those together, always really looks cool in a diorama. And as with all of the uh, Hot Toys action figures, this is something you, if you're interested in, you definitely should take advantage of right away, because a lot of times these figures will sell out completely, and then it's off to the secondary market, where a lot of times the figures go up way high in price. And finally, to give you guys a little bit of sense of scale and size, I've put the 1-6 scale Hot Toys Mandalorian right next to the Death Trooper. As you can see, the Mandalorian is obviously a little bit beefier character, a little bit more muscular, but still, the Death Trooper is still the, the taller of the two. So tell me what you think. Do you think the Death Trooper is one of the cooler Star Wars Stormtroopers? Or do you prefer the original Stark White? Or even some of the other ones on there? Put down in the comments down there which one you think is the coolest Stormtrooper. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. I want to thank you guys as always for watching. And please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.